everybody. Uh, it is Saturday the 15th. We have successfully made it through another Valentine's Day. I actually had Palentine's Day yesterday, which is uh, one of my friends made delicious, delicious food, and we ate it, and we played DDR, which was a blast from the past. I am terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And Percy is here, was alone on Valentine's Day, the poor little baby. You can see his little head. <laughs> uh, anyways, I did get some books this week. Uh, the first thing I got is from Tor. It's Reflected by Rhiannon Held. I have, this is book three in a series that I have not started. Although they did send me Tarnished last year. And... I didn't have time to get to it because it's unsolicited and it's also in a series that I've not started. But now that I have two of them, I feel guilty enough that I'm going to try to read these. So I've requested Silver from the library and I'll get there when I can. Um... I don't know. I wish they wouldn't send ones that are in series you haven't read unless you were like, hey, I totally want to catch up on this series. Because I'm not sure how interested in it I am in it, but since they've sent me two of them, I just feel bad not at least trying. And I got a, a TLC book tour book, uh, The Quick by Lauren Owen which you can tell why I couldn't resist this, is look at all these books on this cover, but it's also freaking massive. Like, this is a normal-ish book. Yeah, it is massive. Thankfully, I mean, the print isn't, like, tiny, but this is still a really long book, so I hope it's good. Got blurbs from Kate Atkinson, Hilary Mantel, and Tana French, but I'm not sure if that really means anything. So if you want to hear the blurb, London, 1892, James Norbury, a shy would-be poet newly down from Oxford, finds lodging with a charming young aristocrat. Through this new friendship, he is introduced to the drawing rooms of high society and finds love in an unexpected quarter. Then, suddenly, he vanishes without a trace. Unnerved, his sister Charlotte sets out from their crumbling country estate, determined to find him. In the sinister, labyrinthine city... That greets her. She uncovers a secret world, the margins populated by unforgettable characters, a female rope walker turned vigilante, a street urchin with a deadly secret, and the chilling Dr. Knife. But the answer to her brother's disappearance ultimately lies within the doors of one of the country's preeminent and mysterious institutions, the Aegolius Club, whose members include the most ambitious and most dangerous men in England. So it sounds like it could be really good, and I hope it is, because I don't know that I could suffer through 500 pages if it's terrible. Um, and then the final review book I got is The 57 Lives of Alex Wayfair by M.G. Berlin. Yorlin. And I got to read <clears throat> an advanced copy of this. Um, well, I got to read it before it was looked at by the editor. And so I'm actually in the acknowledgments. I don't think I've ever been in the acknowledgments before. Um, whoop, yeah. So I'm down there. It's a little blurry. I don't know if you can see it. But um, it says, and Christina Frankie for reading and helping shape this book. So I'm very excited about that. I also bought two books that arrived, um, and I bought a couple that did not arrive yet. Amazon was just like, oh yeah, we know you're a Prime member, but they don't have to get there in two days, and I'm like, excuse me, that was the deal, this is why I'm paying you, so you'll get me my shit, but apparently not. Um, Lady Thief by A.C. Gauguin, that's how I've been saying it, but I don't know if that's right. I've already read this, it's amazing, and the cover is even more beautiful in person, it's all shiny and stuff. Yeah, it's wonderful and it will break your heart. Um, and then also Looking for Alla Brandy by Melina Marchetta. And I don't know why she's holding jam 
or why she's making a fish face. But Ellis said that it is the best one to start with because it's not as heartbreaking as the others. Um, and she thought it would be a better read if you hadn't read all of the other Marchetta right before. So this is going to be my next Marchetta whenever I have time for more Marchetta. Well, either this or Delico Road. I'm not entirely decided on that because that's a Sadie Hawkins book, so it could come up at any time. Uh, but hopefully this one will be my next one. And this is just the worst cover ever. Seriously, Random House, what were you thinking? Okay. Uh, that is it. And I will see you again next week, probably. Bye, friends.